Asset manager Kathy Wood, chief executive of ARK Investment Management, continues to buy and sell some big-name stocks as the equity market remains volatile. On Monday, she bought Coinbase Global, Coin, the biggest U.S. cryptocurrency exchange, e-commerce titan Shopify, Shop, Get Shopify Incorporated Class A Report, and real estate information firm Zillow, Z, Get Zillow Group Incorporated Class C Report. Extended President's Day Sale, Unlock Two Years of Financial Wisdom for Less Than $3 Per Week. Meanwhile, she sold online arts and crafts retailer Etsy, ETSY, Get Etsy Incorporated Report, Social Media Stalwart Twitter, TWTR, Get Twitter Incorporated Report and Retail Slash Technology Giant Amazon, AMZN, Get Amazon.com, Incorporated Report. ARK Exchange Traded Funds bought 45,237 shares of Coinbase. That stake was valued at $8.6 million as of Monday's close. ARK Funds purchased 13,534 shares of Shopify, valued at $9.4 million at Monday's close. ARK Fintech Innovation ETF, ARKF, Get ARK Fintech Innovation ETF report bought 53,411 shares of Zillow. That holding was valued at $3.1 million as of Monday's close. On the selling side, ARK Funds dumped 53,232 shares of Etsy. The shares were valued at $9 million at Monday's close. ARK Next Generation Internet ETF, ARKW, Get ARK Next Generation Internet ETF report unloaded 517,882 shares of Twitter, valued at $18.4 million as of Monday's close. An ARK Space Innovation and Exploration ETF, ARKX, Get ARK Space Exploration and Innovation ETF report sold 318 shares of Amazon. They were valued at about $977,000 at Monday's close. The biggest trading sum came from the Twitter sale. Morningstar analyst Michael Hodel is bullish on the San Francisco microblogging provider's stock, putting fair value at $58, compared with a recent quote of $35.52. Twitter's effort to focus more on advertising opportunities will mix well with its balanced brand and direct response revenue base in the long run, allowing the firm to capture more small and medium-sized business ad revenue and tap further into e-commerce growth he wrote in a commentary last month.